let's find our place on the chair and kind of slide all the way forward. And we'll start with like circling the pelvis on the chair, making simple, small circles in one direction. And go ahead and change the circling. And already from the beginning, can you feel, can you sense, does anything else move when you're making circles with your hip? Can you feel the weight moving underneath your feet? Can you feel the ribs moving? Can you feel the spine circling? inside in between the ribs can you feel your head moving from side to side and rest and we'll see if we can get it a little bit more harmonious as we go along so now we're going to put the head to the one ear to the shoulder and the other ear to the shoulder and just kind of check to see how easy it is to bring the ear down towards the shoulder. Don't push, don't stretch, just kind of like, is it flexible? Is there restriction? And if there is a restriction, is that the muscles that supposed to lengthen don't want to lengthen? Or is it the muscle that's shortening that feels not comfortable? And now, instead of putting the ear, bring your nose down to your shoulder. And bring your nose down to the shoulder. And bring your nose. And come back up and bring your nose. And come up. And your nose. If you could draw a line <coughs> with the tip of your head, <coughs> sorry, with your eyes as you bring the nose down to the shoulder what shape would that line be in space is it an arc and now let's do the ear again the ear and up and the ear and up ear and up ear and up and the nose 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 and come back to center and start circling the pelvis again and notice if you the sense of your head moving over your spine in relationship to circling the pelvis is a little bit more clear now. And change direction. And come back to center. Take a minute. Pa -pam, pa -pam. to the side and we're going to 
gonna lift the shoulders and lower them. Pa pam, 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 pa pam. So it's not big. You have no time for up and down. It's pa pam, pa pam, just like with the feet. Pa pam, pa pam, pa pam. In the lymph system, pa pam, pa pam. Actually here, pa pam, pa pam, pa pam. The main one, pa pam, pa pam, pa pam, pa pam, pa pam. slowly blow like you're blowing a candle. And inhale. Hold your breath. Spread. Get bigger and bigger and bigger inside. And when you need to, blow slowly. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. And once again, inhale deep. Hold your breath as long as it's comfortable. Try to get bigger and larger and fuller inside. It's a sensation. And when you need to blow, Pucker your lips in. Relax the shoulders. Relax them even more. Arms down. Shake, 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 shake. Turn inside out. Quick, 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 quick. Now shake your wrist like you're trying to get rid of something from the tip of your fingers. Bring your arms forward, shake, 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 shake. How relaxed can you get those wrists? Now forward and back, flip, 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 flip. And bring your fingers forward and now chop. Chop, 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 chop. And shake again, inside out. And now shake from the fingers. And now forward and back. Up and down. And now do the side. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. And relax. <laughs> and inhale deep. Roll the shoulders back and down and exhale as the shoulders are coming down. Again, inhale. Roll your shoulders back and down and exhale at the same time. As the shoulder blades are relaxing. And one more time, inhale. And roll the shoulders back and down, put the palms up, exhale. And now we're going to do pa pam pa pam with legs and the hands with the palms up. Ready? And pa pam pa pam. Take your right hand and put it on the wrist and start gliding the right hand up the left and see if it's comfortable for you to reach your shoulder and slide it down. Feel the texture of your skin, of your hair, of your shirt, 
the material of the shirt. Get as much information that you can and come down. Notice if you inhale when your hand is traveling up or are you exhaling and when you reach the shoulder rest your hand there. We're going to start making tiny, tiny little circles with the right elbow. Circle clockwise. And now circle in the other direction. Counterclockwise. And circle again clockwise. And try to create the circling without any tension. Use as little as possible muscle in your neck and in your shoulder. And change direction. And rest. Keep the hand there like really resting on your shoulder and very very gentle almost like in a dream kind of state you're going to lift the right shoulder up and you're going to lower the right shoulder down they're trying to find a way to reach one another or align with one another please don't give me a oh i can do it find a gentle way Again, it's like a dreamlike, of an elastic sensation of the shoulder coming up and the ear coming down. If they meet, they meet. If they don't, they don't. Who cares? We're looking for the quality. The shoulder coming up and the ear coming down. Just a, a hint of it. What would it take for the body to be really relaxed, for the nervous system not to get irritated with you and the muscles not getting irritated with you because you want to bring the ear and the shoulder closer. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to bring the shoulder and the ear away. So we're opening even further. We're making that side of the neck longer. Remember the fingers are hooked on your shoulder. You're really resting. Shoulder down and head to the left. Shoulder down and head to the left. Shoulder down and head to the left and rest and now we're going to bring the head to the left and the shoulder up everything goes to the left and come back down everything goes to the left are you moving the head and the shoulder at the same time what's happening with your hand can you keep it nice and quiet or do you feel some effort are your fingers digging into your shoulder or can you keep it clean, just shoulder and head? What happens to your ribs now? Are they moving away from your hip? I hope so. Stay away from muscle pain. Come back to the center. Take a minute to rest and we now we're going to go both head and shoulder to the right shoulder down and head down to the right shoulder down and head down to the right so now this side of the ribs is getting i like to word, use the word squished it's like an accordion they're getting closer to one another There's no English word squished, right? I'm inventing. 
So now we're going to exhale as we go to the right. Because that side of the lung is easier to move when the, that lung is doesn't have when it exhales right you can try it with the inhale and feel how it's restricted okay and slowly glide the hand down bring it to the right side and just sense what happened to the right side of your body versus the left side of the body. How does it feel to live inside your right side and how does it feel to live in your left side? And we're going to take our left hand and we're going to put it on the right wrist and we're going to start traveling up. First starting to notice the sensation that you have with the skin touching skin, hair, material, how far it's comfortable. Can you do it without creating tension in the elbow, in the shoulder? Are you breathing in and out? Or you're anticipating pain and you're stopping? Is it fun? Is it boring? <laughs> And the next time maybe get to the shoulder and hook your fingers on the shoulder and rest. Rest the elbow, rest the shoulder. And now we're going to start making small circles with the left elbow. Clockwise. Can you make those circles with the elbow with very little tension in the neck and the shoulder? Let's change the direction. Is the picture in your head clearer on this side as you make the circle or was it easier on the right side? Are your ribs moving? How much of you is making those tiny little circles with the, with the elbows. And let's go back again to clockwise. And counterclockwise. And rest, have your fingers just resting on the shoulder. And we're going to start by bringing the head and the shoulder towards one another. Again, we're not exercising, we're not reaching, we're not stretching. We're finding the quality. Can I move without unnecessary tension not in the area that I work and not in other areas that might be compensating and how much can I be aware feeling and sensing what I'm doing as I'm doing it sometimes even before I even start doing it are you exhaling when the ear and the shoulder are closer and inhaling when they come apart Or does it matter? Try different ways and see which one works best. Is your shoulder coming straight up or is it moving forward a little bit? Try changing it a tiny little bit, see what happens. And let's do it one more time. And rest. And next we're going to separate. The shoulder will go down when the head will go towards the right. And they're going to come back to center. 
So I automatically inhale when I do the separation. But again, see if you can do the lengthening of the muscle without a sensation of a, oh, I'm stretching, right? I just stretched now. See if you can just lengthen without that, like a gooey inside rather than an effort from the outside of stretching the muscle. The way to think about it is to see the bones moving away rather than think about muscle fibers doing hard work. And of course the breath is always supporting us. Let's separate one more time. Come back to the center. Take a breath. And now we're going to go with shoulder and head up and to the right and back into the center and up and to the right and as your head goes to the right and your shoulder goes to the right do you feel a tiny little bit more weight on your right leg on your right hip can you be that sensitive to feel that weight actually affecting that side. Are your ribs on the left side coming up and over and coming back to the center? Are your ribs on the right side responding to that shift to the right? And come back to center. Rest for a minute. And now we're going to go to the left. So the left shoulder will go down and the ear will go to the left. So now the left ribs are squishing. Did we use that word earlier? <laughs> and coming back up to center. And the shoulder goes down and the head comes over it. And there's a lot of weight on the left hip. And the ribs and the hip on the right side are separating. And there's a lengthening, opening between the ilium bone of the hip and the lower floating ribs on the right side. And let's do it one more time. And come back to center and slowly allow your arm to come down. Take a minute to adjust, to feel your two sides. And once again, take your right hand and put it on your left wrist. Start sliding up. When your hand is reaching the shoulder, flip the hand so the palm is looking up, forward and up. And then start lifting the elbow without lifting the shoulder and get it down. Relax the hand. Flip the fingers and the wrist and allow the elbow to come up and roll it back down. And twist the fingers, twist the wrist, allow the elbow to come up, allow the ribs to come up. Allow the eyes to come up to the corner of the wall and the ceiling and round it, I mean relax it and bring it back down. So the little finger starts the rotation and then you continue with the rotation in the forearm, the radius and the ulna and the elbow is coming up while your shoulder blade is not coming up. I'm going to turn around. 
you're turning the fingers, you're turning the wrist, you're lifting the elbow, and you're not doing this. You're keeping your shoulder blade restful as your ribs and the chest are extending. And again, rotate the fingers, the forearm, the elbow comes up, the sternum comes up, the chest bone, the ribs are coming up, your eyes are coming up, but the shoulder is not coming up. Shoulder is not invited. Lower the arm down and we'll do the other side. Left hand on the wrist, start sliding up until you find the shoulder. Start turning the fingers one after the other. Feel how the wrist is turning. Feel how the two bones in the forearm, the radius and ulna are turning. And then the elbow is coming up. As the elbow is coming up, the ribs are opening and lifting. The sternum is coming up. The elbow is coming up. The eyes are coming up. And if you feel that the shoulder is starting to slide up, that's time to stop. We're trying to find other things besides doing that. Okay, we want this nice and open. We want these bones to be parallel rather than looking up like that. So again, the hand is on the shoulder. Start rotating the fingers, the wrist, and start lifting the elbow. Allowing the breath to come in, allow the ribs to come in, allow the sternum to lift up, allow the eyes to come up. And you're living, you push shoulder alone, not invited to the game. And again, fingers rotating, wrist rotating, forearm rotating, elbow is starting to lift. and down. Let's do this one one more time on this side. Little fingers, the rest of the fingers, the wrist, the forearm, the elbow. And your chest is lifted and coming down. And bring your arm, arm down. Cross your hands. Bring your hands up towards the shoulders, rotating both hands and come up and up and up and up and up. Lift your arms if you want all the way up. Give yourself a nice stretch from the ribs up. Now it's a stretch. And then the other side, now it's a stretch. And again, Lift the ribs and stretch. Feels yummy to stretch, doesn't it? Everything in its own place and time. And lower the arms down. Cross the arms one more time. Lift the arms. Turn the elbow. Turn the palm up. Lift the palms now towards the ceiling. Push the ceiling up with your hands, push them up, push them up so the lower ribs are away from the ilium, from your hip bones. And exhale, lower down. Shake, 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 shake. And we're out of time. Thank you so very much and I'll see you next week.